today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about virtual reality, how it works and what all things you can do with the VR headset. But before we do that, let's talk about the ergonomics, which I'm gonna be demonstrating with my Shincon VR headset, which is a pretty decent VR headset. But when it was on sale for just 30 bucks, I picked one up. Most VR headsets are made out of lightweight plastic, which is pretty justifiable for the price. And since you're gonna be putting it on, anything lightweight is a good choice. The overall construction is also pretty solid. The front of the headset opens up and your device slips in right there. The headset works with any smartphone with a display size between 3.4 inches to 6 inches. So it's one of those few headsets that supports both smaller as well as larger size smartphones. It has this really comfortable padding at the front or at the back, whichever way you're holding it. So using this headset for extended periods of time was rather enjoyable. The faceplate is also detachable, so you will have the access to the speakers and the camera on your smartphone, which is gonna help you to capture your own 3D content with the cardboard camera app. But the star of the show are the lenses. The lenses makes a moving two-dimensional object look like real world 3D. But the cool part is, you don't need to download a separate app to see how it all works in coordination with your smartphone. You can do that straight from the YouTube app. YouTube currently supports virtual reality content and the amount of content is constantly increasing, like this video of a roller coaster ride here. See the VR logo there? Simply tap on that and the image splits into two for both of your eyes. And you can already notice that the video moves with the motion of the phone thanks to the gyroscopic sensor that comes in every smartphone. And that, my friends, does all the magic. Now, it's really hard to explain what actually happens when the phone is in the headset. I mean, it's kind of those things that you'll have to experience yourself to get a full idea. But I'll try my best. Now, once the smartphone is in the headset, the lenses in the headset help create this three-dimensional image of the content being displayed on your smartphone as the lenses are super wide angle lenses. So no matter wherever you're looking or moving your eyes to, you're gonna only see the 3D area on your smartphone. Now the sensors on your smartphone tracks the motion of your head, which gives you this ultra realistic three dimensional space, which moves depending on the movements of your head. And trust me guys, it looks and feels very realistic, both distance and direction wise. Now usually when we combine an existing piece of technology with a smartphone to create something new, we don't usually get it right the first time. But this, the duo of a smartphone paired with a couple of wide angle lenses and some sweet software tricks has bought us a totally new experience. It's a very surrealistic, hard to explain, dreamy kind of experience where everything looks very realistic up to an extent that you feel like touching the objects. I mean, see the roller coaster video? It's like you are a living part of that video. Pretty priceless. And yes, gaming is possible on these headsets, but the motion tracking games where you move your head to play the games can be a bit tiring. But regular games that supports VR, coupled with a wireless gamepad, gives a pretty damn good experience. You can also connect a headphone or open the detachable front to get the audio experience as well. Now, unlike other VR headsets like the Ant VR or the Gear VR, where you are strictly required to use a specific device or a specific VR app, which restricts the content that you can see with these headsets, and they cost like $100, but this $30 headset right here is completely unlocked. So you can pretty much use any VR app, game, and can enjoy any VR content out there. They even have this list of recommended apps on Play Store, which is neat and works pretty well with this headset. So yup, the future of VR looks pretty bright, but not if you guys don't give virtual reality a chance. I highly recommend you guys to go ahead and try it out. This headset costed me only $35, and if you guys are planning to buy one for yourself, I'll have the links down in the description box with some special discount codes for my viewers, which will save you an additional $5, so you can get your own virtual reality headset for just $30. So yup, check the links in the description, that'll help the channel. So that was my take on virtual reality for smartphones. I would love to hear your thoughts about it, so do post them down in the comments section and we will have a good discussion. So if you find this video informative, that is if you got to learn something new today, then press that like button and do subscribe if you haven't already to watch more interesting videos like this one. So yup, that's pretty much it. I'm your host HK from The Android Guy, signing off. 
and I hope you guys have a great day.